as quickly as the front of my <clears throat> car window could have as quickly as the front of my car window could have melted with a deep exhale of warm moist air only to quickly freeze over again when the moisture for as quickly as the front of my car's window could have melted with a deep exhale of warm moist air only to quickly only to quickly fog over when the moisture freezes again i had managed to control the chaotic thoughts of what was happening with jeanette and it was not cold enough to form frost on my windows the morning of march 18th 2018. i knew that i could step down to my old life and simply enjoy norway But I also knew that I, that a thread of gold existed to balance on that could logically explain why I should not give up on believing what I felt when we met. In any event, in choosing to balance on this thread of gold was not comfortable and required me to make sacrifice to see where it led. At 8 a.m. I parked my car at the Troll Tunga Trailhead and started my hike with gusto. I was ca cautiously optimistic that I would discover that the hike the hike to be well within my ability. My greatest concern was to finish the hike before dark because online I found that hiking to Troll Tunga will take seven to 10 hours in the summer. Once I had started my hike there, when, once I'd started my hike, there was a rigorousness that I had to maintain and my focus was on the hike. I was very excited. And this was And this was fun, but I took it seriously. I had climbed Himmel, Himmeltinden 496 meters on Vestvoya West, West 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 in Lofoten, which was about 150 meters lower than the elevation I would be climbing to Troll Tunga. And the plateau on the top would be like running a half marathon, plus the initial five kilometers were groomed which was only, which was well, which was over half the elevation I would need to climb. That I would need to gain. I did not know what to expect pa uh, past where I had to take my, past where I had taken my practice hike earlier in the week. The hike to Troll Tunga is 28 kilometers, the f 28 kilometers or 17 miles. The first five kilometers are on an uphill, zigzagging, groomed road. It is steep, but cars drive up this road in the summer. The next five kilometers are the most difficult because you are now off the road and you must hike up a mountainous hill and deep snow accumulates in, in, in a brushy expanse leading up to this hill. However, the trail is marked every 28 meters with branches eight feet high. It is strenuous, but nothing greater than hiking up a great big hill in the winter and there were no boulders visible on the trail this March morning, but, but, um, a, but occasionally I would step down and drop a couple feet where snow hid the gaps between rocks. When the snow melts, you can see the rocky terrain, so it is important to follow the trail in the winter to avoid twisting your ankle. The mountainous hill did, uh, did not appear to be an area of extreme uh, danger for avalanches if you stay on the trail, but the biggest concern is dropping between rocks, so stay on the trail. I had witnessed, I had w witnessed on the steep cliffs of Jordalen, the valley leading you to the glacier above Oda, Berberine, what avalanches look like and where they are likely to occur. Once you make it up to the top of this hill, the remainder of the hike is basically level terrain on the Hadanga Vida Plateau. However, it is 100% mandatory to have ice cleats on your boots, crampons, and poles, because at one point the trail takes you near a gentle, near a gentle, sloping downhill descent 
that eventually drops straight down a cliff hundreds of feet high. And it is possible that one could lose traction, fall, and not stop oneself um, if it is extremely icy. This is, uh, there is also a medium-sized creek that one must cross that is covered in snow. If you have a small, uh, if you have a smartphone, uh, you can watch your progress leading up to this creek and use caution while following the trail over. When I left the parking lot, there were guides getting ready to take a group of hikers, and I was the first person to set foot on the trail from the official trailhead on March 18th. Once I reached the Hardangavita Plateau, I noticed a couple off in the distance, so I knew there were other ways to get to Trolltunga. Up there, I felt a sense of relief to see a terrain that was mostly level and knew, and knew that I must march on at a good pace, every kilometer um, at a good pace. Every kilometer is marked, so it makes you feel comfortable to see your progress. At this time, my mind started drifting back to Jeanette because I had reached the plateau where there was less stress created by the, fo by the focus I had given to the first stages of the hike. I remember, I remember the thing I had done I remember the crazy things I had done leading, I remember, I remember the things I had done leading up, I remember the crazy things I had done leading up to my trip to Oda as I wanted to, in, to impress her. Crazy, in quotes, crazy to me. The acts of affection I allowed myself to show everyone were only meant for her. I was all, I was, I was looking at Jeanette, I was looking at Jeanette when I took the selfie as I held up the tile I made of her and her son for me to create that tile and share it publicly over social media was the only way for me to make sure I was to make sure I was not putting emotional pressure on Jeanette by sending it by if I would have sent it to her in a, in a you know in, a, in an instant message I wasn't sure what what I what so I, I posted it on my page, but it, the, the tile I made of her and her son, but it was deeply emotional. It was deeply emotional. She brings the creative side out, out of me, unlike anyone other than Taylor Swift.